Sonic is one of my favorite franchises ever, but the community centered around the Sonic on the internet is a huge mix of things. I'd say though, the core fan base has one huge problem. Before we start this, I just want to point out I'm talking about a specific group of people, not everyone in the fan base, just to clear that up. Alright, cool? Okay? Alright then, let's get started. Sonic the Hedgehog Created in 1991, released for the Sega Genesis. It was a major hit and Sonic would go on to do bigger things. It had gotten quite a few games around that time in the 90s, and almost all the games were received extremely well. Sonic was a massive hit in the 90s, mostly achieved because of the great and fast gameplay as well as Sonic capturing the feel and vibe of the 90s. But then here comes the early 2000s. Sonic is extremely popular by this time and Sonic has already received its first real open world type 3D game, which is Sonic Adventure. Also around this time, Sonic's popularity has a huge increase. In fact, young Jaden2602 around this time in the early 2000s discovers Sonic on the Game Boy Advance. After this time period, Sonic started to go downhill after a few games, like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06. So after this, Sonic was starting to receive mixed reviews on all these new games coming out. Also because Sonic 06 specifically was a horrible game, and Shadow the Hedgehog was neither well executed and it wasn't that great of an idea. Around this time, this is where the Sonic fan base splits into two. Modern fans and the classic fans. Usually the fans play both games, but they like to argue online all the time which era is better and it leads to nowhere. Because of this split in the fan base, the fan base has no idea what type of game they want. Here is an example. Sonic fans ask Sega if they can try something new instead of doing the same quote unquote thing over and over again. But when they try to do something new, the Sonic fan base complains and rants about it. And it's kind of disgusting. And when Sega is deciding on creating the game, they are split on exactly what to do for a game. It seems no matter what. No one is ever going to be pleased on the game they receive. Some games, for instance Sonic Generations, is a game a lot of people enjoyed and favored. Sega did something right with that game, and it seems they're trying to emulate that success with this new upcoming Sonic title, Sonic Forces. And of course, the fanbase continues to complain about this game, talking about how it's the same game again or a sequel to 2 and there's not much different to the gameplay. It's annoying, make up your mind. Also the worst complaint I heard about Sonic Forces is, was the use of the dash pad to help you go faster being a con. That made me laugh so hard, actual Sonic tubers made videos about this. It's extremely sad how the fanbase is nowadays. Sonic fanbase has no idea what they want. And to me that's the biggest problem in the Sonic fanbase. Sega doesn't even have to listen to us, but they do. and. You guys just like to argue over what is a Sonic game and what's not when we're not the ones making the game. 